Here with Pat Devlin of the Delaware Blue Hens. Pat, welcome to the CA Football Media Day. Thanks for having me. You had an outstanding first season at Delaware. You led the CA in passing yards and total offense. Talk about the transition from Penn State to Delaware, and did it go smoothly for you both on and off the field? Right, yeah, it was a, it was a real big transition. Um, but I think the, the team and the coaches really helped me out a lot with it, um, you know, from finding me a place to live when I first got there to enrolling me in classes. It was a real good situation for me, and I, I think the guys on the team really took me in and took me under their wing and, and showed me the ropes. Are you looking forward to year two and, and kind of being a, a veteran and being the second year in the program a little bit? Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Um, you know, there's a lot more going on now that, you know, I've been with my quarterback coach, offensive coordinator for a year. I've been here for a year. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about learning the guys' names on the team anymore. Um, so, you know, I think we're a lot more cohesive and, uh, you know, we're able to have a lot more fun and we're able to do a lot more things on offense just because we've been together for that extra year. Now you went from one of the most competitive BCS conferences in the nation, the Big Ten, to one of the most competitive FCS conferences in the CAA. Do you enjoy the challenge of playing top competition week in and week out? Absolutely. I love it. Um, you know, good competition really only makes you play better. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been fun to be able to play great teams week in and week out. Uh, you know, the competition has been absolutely unbelievable and uh, looking forward to another great year. Any similarities between the two leagues? Um, yeah, you know, you have to bring it week in and week out. Um, you know, any team can beat you, and that's the mindset that we come in with. So. Now, you, your name's been showing up on a lot of the early list for the 2011 NFL Draft, and former Delaware transfer quarterback Joe Flacco is, uh, we're here at Raven Stadium today, and, and uh, you know, had a similar path as you, has had great success. How much have you thought about playing in the NFL? Right, I haven't really thought about it. Um, you know, right now I'm just worried about winning some games and looking forward to get the opportunity to, to be with my team for another season and, and try to make it as far as we can. You know, goals are to you know, win, a, win a championship and uh, you know, we're, we're focused on trying to do that. Have you ever had the opportunity to meet Joe and, and talk about his experience in the golf? Absolutely. The place that I moved into when I first got to Delaware had a couple guys who were a year older than me, so they actually knew Joe. So Joe stopped over the house a couple times and it was, uh, it was fun to see him. Along with being an outstanding player, you're also an honor student. You graduated last May with a degree in finance. Talk about starting work on your graduate degree this fall and, and maybe some of the challenges of balancing academics and football. It's always challenging. Um, you know, I think it's just going to be the same thing in the master's program. Uh, you know, they have a really great program, uh, some really great professors, and I'm looking forward to taking some classes with them. And I, I think I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Is it obviously football is, is high on your goal, but. What are you hoping to achieve with your graduate degree? What's it in and what do you want to do with it? Right, well, right now I'm uh, at an internship in Barclays uh, in Wilmington and having a real good time with that in the finance department. And right, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. And I think that extra year of schooling will really help me find my way and, you know, whatever I want to do finance related. And you talked about uh, some of the goals for your team this year and trying to win. It's been a, a little bit since Delaware has been back into the playoffs. How big of a goal is the CAA championship and a, and a return to the playoffs? That's, that's our two goals. Uh, you know, we want to win the championship and we want to um, get to the playoffs. And you, you talked about a little bit about the league. The last two national champions have come out of this conference. Is there a feeling that, hey, if we can, if we can do well in this, in, in this conference, then we've got a shot at, at maybe winning a national title too? Yeah, you know, really right now what we're focused on is, is just, you know, making our way to, to win the championship of the league, and uh, that's our main focus right now. Now, uh, I read in your bio that at some point in your, your career you worked as a Little League Baseball umpire. Absolutely. Yeah, now, any funny experiences uh, from those days at all? Absolutely. Um, one day, our, well, we was up in State College, and one day I was at a game, and our strength coach's son came up the bat. So our strength coach, was, he's a real tough guy, and, uh, you know, he's uh, you know, fairly imposing. So, you know, strike one, strike two, and, uh, you know, this kid throws another pitch, and, you know, he, if you ask him, he'll tell you it was a little low, but, uh, you know, I, I had to ring up his son, so I called him out, and uh, I have to tell you, I was extremely scared going into the workout the next day. <laughs> Uh, you know, I thought he was going to really put a hurting on me. So, is it switching hats from a player to official and being on that side of things? Does that make you appreciate uh, make you appreciate the, the job that the officials have? Absolutely, it's an extremely tough job, and you know, sometimes you just feel bad for those guys. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes you know, parents sitting in the outfield, you know, just can't see it as well as the umpire could, or you know, sometimes umpires, you know, they're human; they make mistakes. So, uh, you know, it, it's a it's an extremely tough job, and I, I don't envy the position that those guys are in sometimes. Pat, thanks for joining us today. Enjoy seeing you at Football Media Day. Thanks. Thank you.